Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eugene and in today's video we're going to talk about UI Collection View and what you can do with UI Collection View. So uh, if you ever work with Table View or Collection View, you know that you can select a cell and uh, perform certain actions on that cell. You can display a detail view controller or detail view or uh, you can uh, perform some kind of transition. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a, like a very useful technique for UI collection view cell. And in particular, two methods on collection view, deselect item add and de deselect item add. So like I said, it's really, it's very, it's a very useful technique and if those are very useful methods and more importantly, you can actually use the same methods, almost the same methods on table view and perform similar operations with UI table view in a similar fashion. So let's uh, jump into our project and see what we're going to do today. So uh, if you see, we have a collection view um, and if we select cell, it will change the layout. The label will change and the image color will change and also image itself will change. But as soon as we deselect the uh, cell, it will be deselected. And uh, as we select the cell, uh, uh, UI will change. So how do we do that with the uh, um, UI collection view, um, um, with UI collection view and with those two methods, uh, deselect item at and did dislike item at so let's um let's just go through the code first so you know what i'm doing so uh we have a we have a ui uh view controller um and uh, uh we use a uh, uh, data source and it is ui collection view diffable data source and we use collection view so here is our view to load and uh, I, uh, here configure hierarchy we configure our ui um, collection ui collection view and uh, yeah uh, we register our cell and like all that good stuff so this is configuration for ui collection view uh now we configure the layout and the layout is ui collection view layout or uh um, it will ideally it will return ui collection view compositional view layout so uh we specify our uh item size we specify our item uh, we specify insets like top insets, so we have a little bit more space between items. We have we specify our group size. We specify our group and section, and finally we specify our layout. I'm not gonna go in details for um, UI uh, collection, uh, UI collection view compositional view layout in this video because in this video I just want to focus on one fun functionality, but. For clarity's sake, I'm just I'm just going through the code so you know you know what I'm doing, and I will leave the code link in the description for the video. So then we configure our data source. So uh, and our data source is UI collection diffable data source, and for the data source, we just use integers. We, we don't have any uh, model data models or view models for this view necessarily because it is a very small project and it's just it's just a demo um you know we specify our collection view index path and identifier also uh we um we specify uh our cell like what kind of cell we're rendering um for our collection view um, and also we here we set up our uh sections so we have um we have three sections and we have three cells where no oh, uh, i'm sorry we have three sections and we have one cell one one cell per section so um and yeah we apply default data source to our snapshot and now uh we um uh, uh, in in the extension for ui collection view delegate we will configure our cell how to perform uh, those ui actions select and, and deselect 
So let's jump into our collection view cell. So it's a demo cell, like we have reusable identifier. Um, we have uh, image view um, name and I use SSF symbols and uh, just like to make it easier, I create a variable for them. And normally in your project, I would recommend to cre create constants in enum. So you can just call the enum for for your uh, uh, for your uh, image uh, uh, for your images if you use SF symbols. But again, it's really a small project, so uh, I I decided to like do it like that in this video. Um, here's our uh, image view, and here's our label. Initially, it will say not selected. We do UI encode so uh, translate out of resizing mass into constraints equals false because we will provide provide constraints here's our text label uh, here's our uh, UI so we I decided to provide a little, uh, I mean I decided to make UI a little bit more interesting I provided a gradient layer so um, those are colors for gradient layer and uh, I configure gradient layer like right here. Uh, then um, uh, we have our configure uh, in method that basically constrains and puts together our UI. So we basically put together uh, an image view and uh, and the label in the stack view, and uh, um, we try to center somehow the stack view constrict the stack view to uh, um, to the uh, content view for your um, uh, for your uh, collection view cell. A little note uh, for collection view cell, I recommend um, for you a table view and collection view. I recommend use a content content view and uh, work with content view versus just view uh, because. Uh, view and content view they, they can be a little bit different so just like make note of that and so like here's our select method for select method we will change the colors and we will add add those colors to our gradient layer we also going to change our image we are gonna specify select the image and we're going to change the color the tin color of the image and we're also going to change text and for deselect the same kind of thing we change the color and uh, color to our gradient layer and we change the image and we change the image um, the um, tin color and we also change the text so let's go back to our view controller and here and here uh, we can say if cell collection view cell for item so we don't have to call the dq reusable cell we can just say cell for item add and we use our index path and we specify what kind of cell it is and we call select uh, um, and we call cell select so it will change the ui accordingly and uh, in our second method deselect de item we do exactly the same thing we specify our cell and instead of calling the uh, cure usable cell which is calling that cell that we have there and a cell for item at and we specify index path and we also specify what kind of cell it is and we call deselect and it will change the UI accordingly let's uh, build this uh, code and um, see one more time how our application is behaving so right now nothing is selected our cells will say not select it, but as soon as we select, you see the gradient layer change, the uh, color of the image change, um, and as we deselect, uh, the gradient layer goes back as it was before, and the label uh, says deselected, and uh, and uh, as we go through our cells, it will do exactly the same thing for each cell individually. So I hope it was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. And it is a very useful technique, especially if you um, need to change your um, 
lay on for your cell or um, 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 data in your cell somehow changes. So those methods are pretty handy when you work with a UI collection view as well as with UI table view. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.